Now what if we had like 10 skeletons over here? Would the outcome be the same? One way to find out. What? <laughs> Bartender? Bartender, do you have anything to, to drink here? Anything other than this? Whatever this is? I don't even... Can I open it somehow? I can't, I can't... Uh, spoon! Uh, maybe a spoon will work. If there's no bartender here, I'm just gonna have to bartend myself. Oi, would you stop making a noise there, please? Um, skeleton man, if you why are you in a barrel to, to begin with? Ah, get off, get off of there, okay? And just, just get up, you know, behave yourself. No, we're in a bar. We should, we should be civil about this, shouldn't we? Okay, so there's, there's no bartender over here, so I'm just gonna try, try, try uh, a drink. Ah, there we go. Got rid of him. Um, I did notice these, these weird-looking apples over here. So this, this is like a normal apple, right? And then this, this one over here is a little bit red, and that one is full of mold. Uh, which is not good. It's not good for business. So I thought I'd, uh. I do this bartender a solid and just you know eat them up. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! That makes me that makes me feel a little bit strange inside. I it's I it feels I. I can clap my hands extremely loud right now. I don't I didn't I didn't know I could do that, but apparently apparently I can. So let's see how it works against a random. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's pretty much what I thought. I just, I think I blasted away some other fruit over here. So we're just gonna just take this apple over here. This this white one, it's, um, well, I'm doing the bar a favor, really. Here we go. Oh, oh no. What's oh, up? buddy. What? what is that sound? What has happened? Why is everything moving in slow motion? Except him. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I don't know, but I think I might have gotten some power that allows me to manipulate time and space, which is really cool. I also think I've got the power to, to like, oh, can like dash forward to the, whoa, oh God, oh no, careful. And yep, oh, <laughs> look at him just, and then we get to punch him in the face. Oh yeah, a proper bar fight in super slow motion. That's what's happening over here pretty much and then if that's not enough I can just clap my clap my oh there we go clap my hands and they explode to bits hi there buddy um all right uh bartender wherever you are I noticed that you're a little bit low in supplies so I thought I'd oh thank you very much I thought I'd go to the to the supermarket real quick and just hook you up with some more stuff okay I'll be back at some point maybe also does that explode I really want to know if that explodes barrel of it um, don't think it explodes. Maybe it does. Maybe I just need to throw it hard enough. <laughs> ah, the supermarket. Here we are in its wonderful glory. Now, I need to uh, confess a thing. I might have gone onto, onto the cheeky internet and I might have gotten myself a few mods. And when I say a few mods, I mean, uh, I mean a lot of them. I downloaded pretty much every mod that I could find and I thought we should try them out today. Now, one of them I already used, which is this spawn gun, right? This is really cool because it allows me to spawn entities whenever I want. It's really handy. You know, if you just want to punch a skeleton in the face, that's the proper way to do it. And then, of course, we've got some other things over here. Now, starting off, we've got this rotary blaster thing, McBob. Look at this. It's a chain thingy, uh, pistol thing from, from Star Wars, as far as I can tell. And I, I think, I think I can just pull the trigger and stuff will happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh God. It's, it's going a little bit haywire. There we go. We're just going to throw that away and forget that ever happened. Then we've got a bunch of different, you know, Star Wars weapons and matchlock and whatnot. But then we go to the real cool bits. Uh, Desert Eagle. Look at this. Huh? How cool is them apples? Oh, and then the skeleton. There we go. We're just going to see how well this one is. Yep. It's just as good as I thought it was going to be. It just straight up... Right, we've got a bunch of new um, ranged weapons, and then we've also got some throwing ones, one of which is this Warp Return Boomerang. Now, if the name implies anything, it should imply that this boomerang will eventually get back to me. Now, these two you saw already, okay? This is an apple that gives me the Omnimod... What is Squid we're doing over here? <laughs> I did completely didn't say this. Hi. Hello. I, uh, doing some experiments over here. 
just, I'll be back in aisle three in a bit. Uh, Omniman power. So when I eat this, I become powerful. I can do the thunderclap. I can dash around the places and I can slow time. But then this white apple allows me to manipulate time even further. Hence the um, extremely slow motion in the beginning. That was pretty cool. So let's start from daggers, right? And then let's move our way down the list. We've got lightning dagger. Oh, and we've also got a heated dagger. Oh, these two will make sure that the, the, the people that were about to fight, I don't even know what I'm saying, but these things are cool. Oh, I can do the cool little flippy thing. Oh, I feel like such a badass. Now I am gonna use the spawn gun to spawn in some guys, but let's start messing around with the mods then, shall we? Let's start with this thing. Uh, this thing, the dagger that looks extremely hot. So let's see if it actually is that. Oh, oh it just burst into flames. Ah, just, it just instantly combusted into flames. That's what I like to see. Now I need this thing back. So next up, let's try the dagger that has lightning powers. Ooh. <laughs> um, uh, if I read the instructions correctly, this should inflict some sort of an explosion. What could go wrong? Kind of good. Oh! <coughs> well, I am Omni Man, so that cannot hurt me. Now, then we've got some crazy looking swords. Now, this is something extremely long and hard. That is what she is. But it's also got some special power. So look, it can extend its range with a little whitey thing over there at the end. So if I just flail my arms around like this, oh, nothing's happening, nothing really much. But then if I enable it and whoop, um, it should do things. Um, hello, could you, does it? Oh, there we go. I just need to smack him hard enough. It, it will make him explode. Oh, this is really nice. Does it do damage normally though? <laughs> Oh my lord, that is, that's really nice. That's really nice, that is. That does a lot of damage, and that's really cool. Let's try this thing. Stop making a noise. It's, um, oh, it makes a, it's make, it makes a little frosty sound. Now, your eyes are blue. This is blue. It's a match made in heaven. Ooh, I froze him to sub-zero temperatures. You know what happens to people in sub-zero temperatures if we punch them in slow motion time? They blast into bits! Oh, that is beautiful. That, that's something else, you know, watching people fly in slow motion and we just can resume like this and everything's okay. And if he's still alive, which he is, we're gonna take care of him with this. I, I really don't know what this is, but it should be the opposite of that dagger over there. Dagger? Sword! Katana, whatever. It's, um, it's a flamey one. It makes the flamey sound so we can just pokey oh there we go and now you're back to normal temperatures well you look kind of toasty so let me sort that out for you oh whoops sorry oh <laughs> look at him just bonk oh that feels really good and he's he's still fine though like i don't know why he's not dying from that but he isn't he's a good little skeleton <laughs> so i think we need to end him with the minecraft sword mm, yeah where's my diamonds give me my diamonds man come on I want more Why is this guy not even... I mean, this is a Minecraft sword. It's not particularly sharp. It's not really doing anything. Eh. I'll be back. And I'm back. And you're not gonna guess what I have in my hand. It's nothing. I just lied. It's a lightsaber that looks like this. <laughs> Ooh -hoo! That bit should hurt. It does. This bit should hurt. It does. And this should decapitate you. What the... How is... Have I made him immortal? Have I made this skeleton absolutely mortal? I think I might have. So we're just gonna leave him over there where nobody will ever find him in ever in the future ever. Unrivaled quality. Just I'm subscribing to the channel. That's also really unrivaled quality. Quality stuff. <laughs> Hi there. Your friend in the in the back was really, really not dying at all. So I'm just gonna use you instead. Dead. See if this works. How the how are these skeletons so good all of a sudden? Maybe I need something, nope, something better. Something more. A light axe, oh yeah. If this doesn't do it, nothing will. It's an axe made of light. Oh, oh, okay, oh boy. Uh, we've got some weird things happening over here. Can I have it back please? Oh, thank you. So the store didn't really work the way I wanted it to work, which is why we're back in my old favorite place. The Chamber of Fun Stuff. That's fun. 
That's that's pure fun, that is. I don't know if this works anymore. Like, it hasn't been lubed in a while. Oh, oh, yeah, it works. Oh, it works. Oh, fantastic. This is called the Vibro Lens, and I don't think it's got any special powers at all, apart from the fact that it should be really, really good at, you know, making skeletons explode because it's, it's vibrating at the speed of, of um, death. So, that's good. We're just gonna put it, we're just gonna put it to the side here. And maybe we will use it at some point for something else. Who knows? We'd never know. But I do know that this um, bl blade for cutting cucumbers <coughs> needs to be tested properly. So we're just gonna put you in here. We're just gonna put you in here. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull your head through here because you don't really wanna work with me. There you go. All right, skeleton versus cucumber cutter. Ah, fantastic. Now down there. As an unsuspecting skeleton, not ready to face what I'm about to shoot in his face. Uh, an, an RPG. RPG, bye bye! Oh, oh my, that is a lot more deadly than I thought it was gonna be. That's really cool, that is. Can I put this one in there? Sure can. Now, what if we had like 10 skeletons over here? Would the outcome be the same? One way to find out. Whoa! There's so many bits flying everywhere. Oh, skeletons, man. I gotta love it. <laughs> now, I thought this would be really fun. It's actually a grenade shooter. So let's see how this one works then. Bloomp. Oh, wait, what? That is, that's oddly dis disappointing. I mean, it does, doesn't even do anything if I hit, oh yeah, it does. I mean, it's, this is not, it doesn't have any effects at all. This is not really at all that, I am disappoint. That's what I am. So I'm just gonna leave that over there. And just because I am disappointed means I'm gonna push these guys into an Iron Maiden. <laughs> Ah, that's much better. And if the Iron Maiden wasn't enough, we can always use the trusty hooks to hook the skeletons and let them dangle to show everybody what we're capable of with our new shiny and spicy weapons. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta love it. So if I go into super slow motion, they just start floating. That's a little bit bizarre. I'm just gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it slide or float. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Now for you Star Wars fans out there, this, you should know what it is. It's a thermal detonator. Now I'm gonna throw it, if I know how to activate it, at that thing. How do I, how do I, do I just throw it? No, I know, I, I, I surely need to, I need to activate it first somehow. How do we activate it? I'm sure there's like a way to activate this. Uh, I just haven't figured it out yet. So you can have it, you're welcome. I, I don't know Star Wars things. That's bizarre to me. Now for this last lovely little bit, I've decided to become Darth Vader, right? And I'm gonna use my crazy powers for evil, okay? And by evil, I mean finding ways to take care of zombies. And that, I don't even need to do anything because he just went straight into the death trap himself. I didn't even, didn't, 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 didn't touch him. Now guys, there are there are gonna be some powers added to this mod pack. So if you wanna see that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it, because I will play around with it. Because imagine playing with all imaginary Star Wars powers and just flinging people left and right. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Now, Darth Vader is now gonna use this thing, which is I, I, some sort of a, oh, you're shooting at me? Well, I can shoot at you as well. There you go. I've got something that will shoot a lot straighter than your arrow. Um, There's a trap right in front of you, buddy. You might want to evade. Okay, he did. Cool. This one, um, I'm out of rounds. That's not good. What can I do? Oh, maybe I can just smack him with the with the pistol instead. There you go. How about it? Okay. Now I've got something else in store here. This, a double sawed-off barrel shotgun. There you go. Oh, you've never seen Darth Vader use a shotgun, have you? Well, you're about to. All right. I might not got my powers, but I've got rounds in my shotgun. Oh, just need to do that. There you go. Oh, <laughs> and since this is a double barrel shotgun, I've still got one more round in the chamber. Oh, he, he evaded that. He really did. Oh, it's a shame that one. It's a real shame he evaded it. There we go. All right, and just get back and boom. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that was not what was intentional. Okay, we've also got this one, which is ivory and ebony. That's the desert eagle. Ow! Oh, that's an oh, that's arrows in me. Oh, well, it's a real shame. There you go, and you as well. Don't get close to me. I, th I think I might have, I might have died.